my fellow Americans, confidence in the American economy has reached levels not seen in many, many years. Unemployment fell to its lowest level in nearly 10 years last month, and we created 211,000 new jobs. Our economic progress is especially good news for the millions of young Americans who, at this time of the year, are putting on a cap and gown and receiving a diploma, certificate, or commission. So important, and we're so proud of them. This weekend, I am delighted to be participating firsthand in the excitement by joining the students and faculty at Liberty University to celebrate the success of their graduates. I was invited to make the commencement address at West Point, but I'll be away at the G7, and I look forward to that. And we'll be at West Point, Annapolis, the Air Force Academy. Come to think about it, a few days later, I'll actually travel to New London, Connecticut, to speak to the graduating cadets of the United States Coast Guard Academy about their new roles serving our country. So we'll be with them very shortly. To young Americans at both schools, I will be bringing a message of hope and optimism about our nation's bright future. That is a message that I want to extend to all young Americans today, especially those who are graduating this year and entering the labor force. We are also celebrating all of the Americans who learned the skills and trades that generations of workers have used to build, shape, and supply this nation. The people who construct, repair, and create with their own two hands are the people who make this nation run. And lots of those people voted for me. That's also why, in my administration, I'm so deeply committed to technical and vocational education. I want you to know that my administration is working every single day to create new opportunities and to reverse years of stagnant growth, falling wages, and disappearing jobs. We are ending the sellout of American workers and lifting the burdens on American industry, manufacturing, and business. We're also rolling back job-killing regulations that make it harder for companies to grow and hire in America. At the same time, we're unleashing American energy development to create thousands of new jobs on our soil and just off our shores. On trade, we have also taken historic action to protect American industry and bring back the kinds of high-paying jobs that can support a middle-class family and, in fact, most families. As a vote of confidence in these policies, business optimism is soaring and employment is rising. These are great signs for America's future, the future that our new graduates will play with such a critical role in shaping our world and our country. I want every young citizen, regardless of education or geography, to be able to live out their American dreams. So, to all of America's graduates, congratulations. And to all of America's youth, we are here to help create the jobs and future you deserve. The brightest days are ahead of you, and I just look forward to seeing you at the Coast Guard Academy and at Liberty University. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.